Hi everyone, this is Karen. Hello everybody, I am Shane. Today we're looking at part two of body temperatures aren't as simple as we think. And the vocabulary words are battle. Battle. This is a classic story about the battle between good and evil. Ow. <laughs> Internal. Internal. The internal organs of the human body include the heart and stomach. Respond. Respond. Everyone responds to stress differently. Flow. Flow. The machine helps doctors measure the amount of blood flow to the brain. Mm, factor. Factor. Better pay was the main factor in Joe's decision to change jobs. So we're still talking about body temperatures, right? Yes. Last time we talked about how the you know back then our normal body temperature was 37 right. and it has gone down because our bodies used to you know air conditioning, yeah. such and such. But what other interesting facts are we going to talk about? Well, I think you've probably noticed this before. Mm -hmm. Do you? You're married, right? Yes, you have I a am. husband who's a man, mm -hmm. and do you when you put on the air conditioner? does he hope that the temperature is lower and you hope that the temperature is higher because you get cold easier yes right? yes yeah, does so. it happen in your household too it does yeah really so this is actually the difference between men and women right so in general women get cold more easily mm. than men do or men get hot more easily so women usually do. women prefer a higher temperature right they, and they feel more comfortable Right. Because right. I know that my wife is always complaining that the air conditioner is too cold. Oh, really? You okay. Know, she always has to work, put on a blanket or something in our house. And I'm like sweating and she has a blanket <laughs> and I don't understand. I totally understand. I mm. understand how she feels. Yeah, but it's science. It's true that women just feel cold. We have different body temperatures. Mm. Mm, interesting. Okay, so let's learn more. Body temperatures aren't as simple as we think. Often the battle of the thermostat is a battle of the sexes. According to one study, women are comfortable at a temperature of 24 to 25 degrees Celsius, which is 2.5 degrees Celsius higher than the temperature preferred by men. As for the reason, a study in the 1990s found that women have a warmer internal temperature but colder hand and foot temperatures. Women's body temperatures were on average 0.23 degrees higher than those of men, 36.56 degrees Celsius versus 36.33 degrees Celsius. Whereas men had higher average hand temperatures, 32.22 degrees Celsius versus 30.67 degrees Celsius. Today's lesson is called Body Temperatures Aren't As Simple As We Think, Part 2. Hi everyone, my name is Jeff. And I'm Mike. And yes, we're learning about human body temperatures. On average, if we look at whole groups of people, we learned that in the past 150 to 200 years, the average body temperature among us people, among humans, has gone down at a rate of about 0.02 degrees Celsius every 10 years. We talked about why this was happening last time. We've got more on this particular subject right now. Get this, often the battle of the thermostat is a battle of the sexes. So last time we talked about how working in an office, living in a home with an AC, basically living in a climate controlled world has changed our bodies and very often when you are changing the temperature in your apartment or at the office, a thermostat is going to be involved and next we're going to be talking about the battle of the thermostat and how it relates to the battle of the sexes. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, well, battle generally means a fight in a war. A big military fight with soldiers fighting each other. We talk about famous battles that have happened through history and things like that. But here, of course, we're not talking about a war. We're not talking about fights in, in that kind of violent way with mm. guns and bombs. We're just talking about, you know, a disagreement, an argument, a, a difference of opinion even could be 
a battle. All right. For example, this is a classic story about the battle between good and、Ooh. evil. Now, the hero and the bad guy could fight, or it could just be you know, there's the the mean person and the nice person, and they have a struggle with one another. So apparently, there's this battle over thermostats, and it comes down to a battle of the sexes. Yeah, we didn't even talk about this on day one. We talked about the average human temperature. Well. Are women and men different when it comes to body temperature? We didn't even consider that, and apparently this is the case. There is a battle of the sexes as far as body temperature is concerned. Men and women differ, and a lot of this comes down to how that thermostat is going to be set or is going to determine that. Yeah, according to one study, women are comfortable at a temperature of. 24 to 25 degrees Celsius, which is 2.5 degrees Celsius higher than the temperature preferred by men. Men like it colder.、Mm, all right, so there you go. So you see, there's no battle here. It just means when we're talking about the thermostat, the thing that controls the temperature in your room, women like it a little bit higher than men. And you know, the man will make it lower, the woman will make it higher, and the battle and will、forth. go on. As for the reason, why is this? Why do women prefer a higher temperature? As for the reason, a study in the 1990s found that women have a warmer Internal temperature, but colder hand and foot temperatures. So inside the body, women are actually warmer, but their hands and their feet they feel colder. There you go. Internal means inside. Internal, inside. External, outside. You can also say interior. That would also mean on the inside of something, and the opposite of that would be. Exterior, internal, external, inside, outside, interior, exterior. Any, anyways, this word "internal" is an adjective. Let's take a look at an example sentence. The internal organs of the human body include the heart and stomach. They're on the inside. There, in fact, only the skin. Well, that's the only external organ that we have. The skin. Anyways, women's body temperatures were on average 0.23 degrees higher. Than those of men, and that's going to be 36.56 degrees Celsius versus 36.33 degrees Celsius, whereas men had higher average hand temperatures, 32.32.22 degrees Celsius versus 30. Six seven degrees Celsius. Well wow, done. Well that done. was that was a mouthful. Anyways, folks, it's time for us to take a break. We'll be back soon. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。我们在第一天的课文读到，在过去一百五十年间，人体的平均体温下降了。那么今天来看看男性和女性的体温差异。根据一项研究呢，摄氏二十四到二十五度是女性觉得舒适的温度，这比男生男性喜欢的温度高出了二点五度。那这也就是为什么通常我们在调整那个温度控制器的温度时，两性之间会有冲突了。好，文中的 thermostat 就是指恒温器或者是温度自动调节器。那么单字 battle。Battle 可以当名词或当动词，当名词是指战争、冲突或者是战役。那么当动词可以表达跟什么什么作战。好，我们顺便补充一个片语哦 ，Battle it out， 它则有这种争论、争出胜负的意思。好，那么课文接着提到说，在一九九零年代呢，有一项研究发现，女性体内的温度比较高，但是手脚的温度比较低，而男性的平均手温是比较高的。好，这边有一个单词是 internal。internal 它是形容词，形容体内的内部的。我们把字首 i n 改成 e x， 就会变成相反词 external。external 是形容外面的、外部的。那么 Jeff 老师有提到另外一组相反词是 interior 跟 exterior。我们来拼一下 ，i n t e r i o r 是 interior， 表示内部的。那把字首 i n 改成 e。X 变成 exterior 就表示外部的。接下来课文中 ，Body temperatures aren't as simple as we think. What's more, a woman's body responds differently to changes in environmental temperature. Studies have shown that as the temperature decreases, women have a stronger vascular response. Their blood flow slows more than men's. This leaves their skin more sensitive. Especially on their hands and feet, since it's blood flow that maintains hand and foot temperature. 
There are many other factors as well. For instance, men have thicker and often hairier skin and their bodies generate more heat. The battle of the sexes. It goes on. Yes, I'm not joking. Even when it comes to body temperature, women and men are different and they're going to battle it out. Anyways, what's more, our article continues, a woman's body responds differently to changes in environmental temperature. So there you go. Women and men, they're different. The battle will continue, like I said before. Anyways, Let's go ahead and talk about the next vocabulary word of the day, the verb respond. Yeah, here respond is basically to react to something. Nor normally when we use this word respond, we might be using it in the same way we would use the verb answer. If someone asks you a question, you respond, you answer. But it can also be sort of to react, to do something because something happens first. All right. So if someone throws a ball at your face, you might respond by putting your hands up very quickly. You're not saying anything. You're not saying any words to answer a question, but you're reacting. This is what happens after A, the B, is the response, that would be the, the noun form, or you respond by doing something after something happens first. For example, everyone responds to stress differently. Now let's look at this. Studies have shown that as the temperature decreases, women have a stronger vascular response. So this is what's actually going on in the body. In this case, in the bodies of women, as the temperature goes down, they have a vascular response. And now, there you go. You said earlier response would be the noun. Respond was the verb. And yes, women's bodies, they're different from men's. Their response is going to be different. Now more on this. Their blood flow, it says, slows more than men's. How about that? Now here when we're talking about flow, we're talking about the movement of a liquid. Okay, think of water flowing in a stream. You would call that flow. And yes, this word flow, you can use it as a noun or as a verb. Here, it's being used as a noun. Your blood flow is how that blood, that liquid, moves through your body. How about that? Now, let's say we are talking about a body of water. Like if we're talking about flow, we're talking about rising water. Okay, the opposite of that would be ebb. That would be when water levels are going down. Anyways, for example, the machine helps doctors measure the amount of blood flow to the brain. How much blood is going to the brain? There you go. That would be blood flow. So, hmm, women's blood flow is different. How is this going to affect them? Well, as the temperature goes down, so their body and the veins and the things that carry the blood around, that's vascular, to use the medical term, but basically it's just your heart pumping blood around your body. It changes in a different way. So it says for women, this leaves their skin more sensitive, especially on their hands and feet, since it's blood flow that maintains hand and foot temperature. So with more flow comes more heat, but that can also bring the temperature down even more and make women feel even colder. And there are many other factors as well. What is a factor? Basically, it's just kind of like a reason. It's one part of a bigger thing or it's a reason why something might happen. If you're talking about why someone made a certain decision, why did you choose this instead of choosing to do that? Well, there were a few different factors. There are a few different situations, reasons, things I had to look out and in the bigger question and that's what helped me decide. For example, better pay was the main factor in Joe's decision to change jobs. When changing jobs, you look at different factors. What is my new job? How much will I get paid? What's the difference? Is it further from my house? Do I have to travel a longer distance? These are different factors, different reasons. Speaking of factors, for instance, it says mm -hmm. men have thicker and often hairier skin and, the, and their bodies generate more heat. So they don't more feel that cold as more much. More factors, more reasons. There you go. All right, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a break, but don't go away. We'll be back after this. 好，除了体内温度的差异，男性女性的身体对环境温度变化的反应也不同哦。研究显示说，随着温度下降，女性的血管反应会比较强烈。
好，那么单字 respond，respond respond 是动词，就有回应、做出反应或是回复的意思。它的名词是 response， 表示反应、回应或是回复。那么补充单字 vascular。Vascular， 它是形容血管的。我们顺便学一下 vein 这个字 ，v e i n。vein 可以指血管或是静脉。好，那么课文接着写到，女性的血液这个血流的速度比较慢，使得皮肤就会更加的敏感，尤其是手脚的部分，因为就是血液流动在维持手脚的温度。那当然也还有其他因素啦，像是男性可能皮肤比较厚啊，毛发往往比较多之类的，使得他们身体会产生更多的热量。我们先来看两个单字 ，flow。Flow 在课文里是当名词表示流动，它还有涨潮的意思。Jeff 老师说到 ebb 这个字 ，e b b ebb 则是指退潮。有时候我们会听到这个 ebb and flow 就可以表达潮起潮落或者是起起落落的意思。再来看 factor，factor factor 它是指因素、要素。那这边还有两个重点，第一个动词 leave 在这边呢，它是指使处于某种状态。那个用法是 leave 加受词加受词补语。那么受词补语你可以用形容词啊、现在分词、过去分词等等。我们来造两个例句。The bad news left her anxious. 那个坏消息使她很焦虑。这边的受词补语我们就是用形容词 anxious。好，再来 ，He left the door unlocked. 他把门让他没有锁上，就是没把门锁上喽。那这边我们是用 unlocked。这个过去分词来当受词补语。好，第二个重点 ，since 在这边是当连接词，表示由于、因为。例如 ，We can't get any work done since the system is down. 由于系统宕掉，我们什么事都没办法做。好，接下课文中。Body temperatures aren't as simple as we think. The human body may have changed over the past 150 years, but one thing that has remained constant is the disagreement between men and women about what temperature is comfortable. Okay, let's start wrapping things up. The human body may have changed over the past 150 years, but one thing that has remained constant is the disagreement. Between men and women about what temperature is comfortable. So, like I said before, the battle of the sexes continues. Okay, we will continue to wage this war on one another, women versus men. Will it be a physical battle? Probably not. Let's hope not. Anyways, that's it for our article. Let's go ahead and take a look at the what do you think question. Mike,、mm. do the results of the study line up with your? Own experience? How so? Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'd say just from the one person I know the best, I think it's true that women prefer higher temperatures than men. For example, this one time, or I should say, for example, all the time, my wife always thinks it's a little bit too cold in the apartment during summer when I have the air conditioner on, and even at night she'll have a thicker blanket、mm. than I will because I like it a little bit cooler. But generally, just when I sleep, I find it much easier to. Sleep when it's a little cooler. So yeah, I think most of that is something I'd agree with. That's my experience as well. All right, folks. With that, it's time for us to say bye bye. See you next time. Stay cool. 好，课文最后写到，人体在过去一百五十年可能发生了变化，但是有一件事是不变的，那就是男人和女人之间对什么温度感到舒适的意见相当分歧，这是不会变的。好，这边有两个重点哦。第一个，情态助动词 may 或是 might 可以用来表达推测 ，may 或是 might 再加 have 加 pp 是用来描述对过去事件或是动作的推测。那么 ，Mike 所表达出的可能性比 May 还低。我们来看两个例句。Pam may have left her umbrella on the train. Pam 可能把她的雨伞留在火车上了。If Ben had studied harder, he might have gotten a higher score. 如果 Ben 之前用功一点，他也许会得到更高的分数。第二个重点 ，remain 在这边是当连缀动词，表达保持怎么样，持续怎么样。后面要接名词或形容词。例如 ，It's important to remain calm during an earthquake. 地震来袭时，保持冷静是很重要的。好，那么以上这些讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。
哈喽，各位同学，大家好，我是季安老师。我们今天带大家看一个练习题 ，All right， 不同类别的题型啊，聆听重点不一样哦。来，建议题啊，都在后半部，答案会出现在后半部啊，就听力的后半部。我们看一下，第一个 ，Who most likely is Ashley？ OK， 他最有可能是谁呢 ？Woman's family， 呃、uh, ，speaker's manager， 还是 the man's wife， 还是 the man's daughter？ 到底是谁 ？OK。Ashley， 所以等一下特别听到 Ashley 的时候，特别注意一下 Ashley 这个人物是怎样。第二题 ，What had the woman planned for Friday？ 她礼拜五是要去干嘛 ？OK， 呃、uh, ，relax at home with her family，go to work as usual。礼拜五要就是跟往常一一样去上班。我觉得这一题还这个还蛮不可能的。<笑> OK，C、okay, to go on a vacation with her family。去呃跟他家人去玩，所以一个是 relax at home， 一个是 go on a vacation with her family。嗯，我觉得好像跟 family 比较有关。To travel with a man， 跟这个男的出去玩。第三题 ，What does the man suggest the woman do？ 最后他建议什么？所以等一下，在最后的地方，男生讲话的时候要特别注意。OK， 他建议女生要干嘛？啊、uh, ， call in sick， not go to work。这直接呢，打电话进来请病假，不要来。Pretend she has a family emergency， 呵呵假装她有这个家庭的这个意外，啊、哦，紧急事件。C 呢 ，Go on the trip anyway， 还是去、哦、去了再说。最后 ，Cancel her holiday plans， 哦，把她这个要休假的计划把它取消好了。OK， 到底是哪一个？听一下。Ashley says we won't get Friday off this week. She wants us to finish the financial report.、Mm. She does know it's a holiday, doesn't she? I've already made plans with my family to go out of town. We have a hotel and everything. Can you cancel your trip or at least postpone it? Not unless I want to pay a penalty. I guess I'll just call in sick that day. Okay. You have heard of call in sick? Okay. I guess I'll just call in sick that day. 然后这边答案有没有 call in sick？ 有啊，所以这个不是啊，通常不会是啊哈。那我们来听一下这三题到底是怎么听出来的哈，一个一个来。Ashley says we won't get Friday off this week. Ashley says we won't get Friday off this week. 哦，这个礼拜呢，哇，礼拜五不能请假了，不能休假了。She wants us to finish the financial report. Oh, she wants us to finish the financial report. 她想要我们完成这个。所以呢，第一题我觉得答案是 B 啦啊。Speaker's manager 哦，只有这个呃讲者的经理，就是他的上司才可以这样说。哎，你今天不能请假，对。比较大的 ，OK， 所以答案是 B 哦。第二题 ，She does know it's a holiday, doesn't she? She does know it's a holiday, doesn't she? 她不知道这是假期吗？嗯 ，I've already made plans with my family to go out of town. 啊、uh, ，I've already made plans with my family to go out of town. 我已经跟家人已经做完计划，做好计划要出去玩了。Go out of town. 所以第二题答案是 C 哦。We have a hotel and everything. We have a hotel and everything. 好。他有要去玩呢、啊，但答案不是 D 啦，是 C 啊。Go on a vacation with a family. 再来。Can you cancel your trip or at least postpone it? Can you cancel your trip or postpone it? 你可不可以取消你的旅程，或者是呢 postpone it? Cancel your trip or postpone it? 所以呢 ，cancel your trip 这边变成 cancel her holiday plans 啊。所以第三题答案是 D。All right, so these three questions, the answer just popped out. Okay, so Ashley says we won't get Friday off this week. So Ashley is the boss, the boss. I've already made plans with my family to go out of town. Third question, the answer is here. Okay, so Ashley says we won't get Friday off this week. So Ashley is the boss, the boss. I've already made plans with my family to go out of town. Third question, the answer is here. Okay, so Ashley says we won't get Friday off this week. So Ashley is the boss, the boss. I've already made plans with my family to go out of town. Third question, the answer is here. Okay, so Ashley says we won't get Friday off this week. So Ashley is the boss, the boss. I've already made plans with my family to go out of town. Third question, the answer is here. Okay, so Ashley says we won't get Friday off this week. So Ashley is the boss, the boss. I've already made plans with my family to go out of town. Third question, the answer is here. Okay, so Ashley says we won't get Friday off this week. So Ashley is the boss, the boss. I've already made plans with my family to go out of town. Third question, the answer is here. Okay, so Ashley says we won't get Friday off this week. So Ashley is the Can you cancel your trip? OK， 所以他要求的就是你要不要把你的 holiday plans 把它取消掉啊？那女生不想要取消的原因是因为什么啊 ？Not unless I want to pay a penalty， 我要缴纳这个罚金哦。也就是说，你没有来 no show， 那你要往后往后这个延期，那可能会小小的给你罚一下啊。他不想要这样。以上是我们今天的课程内容，我是季安老师，我们下堂课见，拜拜。See you next time.